the F4U Corsair, a true icon of military aviation. With its unmistakable gullwing design, it is arguably one of the most recognizable aircraft from World War II. Enter the FMS 1400mm F4U Corsair. As a scale replica of the F4U-4 that served in the Korean War, it is a fitting tribute to an incredible aircraft. This model has some nice features including scale rotating retracts and gear doors, external stores and navigation lights, and of course, the unmistakable shape that is the F4U Corsair. Now let's be honest, who hasn't dreamed of piloting a World War II fighter plane at least once in their life? And while most of us will never get the chance to fly a full-scale fighter aircraft, with models like this one, we can at least experience them in our own way, and it is pretty great. So if you're a fan of military aviation, or just want to experience the thrill of flying a badass fighter plane, let's take a closer look at this model and see what it takes to fly it like an ace pilot. Hey everyone, Chris here, the RC Geek. Out of the field, we're taking a look at the FMS Corsair. This is the 1400 millimeter wingspan. You know, the airplane itself is really nice looking. Uh, they got a nice smooth finish on here. The assembly is a little bit more involved than you might be used to in the sense that you do have to put the control horns onto the airframe. It's just two screws on each of those. That's it otherwise, but um, nothing too hard. It all fit together really well. Otherwise flying the airplane, uh, you know, it's a Corsair. Corsairs have such an iconic look in the air. Performance is good. It's not going to win any climb contests necessarily, but it has decent enough vertical. The speed is decent. Uh, and so I can imagine with like a two blade prop on here versus a four blade, you definitely get a lot more speed from it. Uh, but otherwise, you know, I do like the looks of the four blade propeller uh, because that's just the nature of who I am and how much I love the scale aspect of it. Also landing with the flaps, the airplane does want a slight down elevator mix with the flaps. They found that the airplane does want to carry a bit of speed and it does need a decent amount of throttle. Kind of get a, a nose down attitude, kind of a high approach flare and you should be able to get a nice landing uh, but if you come in flat it'll tend to wallow on you and get a little slow and so you do want to try and keep a touch of speed with it so i wanted to mention this is an f4u-4 it's got the chin scoop these were more powerful and they were faster had a higher climb rate than the f4u-1 which is what saw service in world war ii these were prevalent in korea they were quite effective in what they did also this version this is what was Featured in the movie Devotion. When everybody says Corsair, they think of the F4U-1, which was in World War II, but they did multiple variants of the Corsair to get as much out of the design as possible. This characteristic gull wing, it's hard to not recognize a Corsair with this, but the reason for this, they had such a powerful engine and such a large diameter prop, they were gonna have to either put extremely long landing gear or if they put this goal in here, they can put shorter landing gear, still have that prop so you can push the, the gear down away from the airframe so that way you can get prop clearance that you need. Such a unique design, it's just iconic. Fly without wings. <laughs> Thirty two hundred. Fits in here real nice. <laughs> all the way forward. Cool.
On the controls, so I'm at 100% all around on the controls. Uh, I've got 10% exponential on the ailerons, 12% expo on the, the elevator, and that all feels really good. The other thing is the CG corresponds right to this panel line right here on the fuselage. So when you pick it up, keep it level, perfect. And so yeah, nice flying airplane, nice looking airplane. Uh, you know, it's hard to beat a Corsair, you know. All right, there we have the FMS Corsair. Nice looking airplane, really nice flyer. Yeah, I, I love Corsairs. That gull wing is so iconic and it just has such a unique look in the sky. It's awesome. All right, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out this next video. And until next time, I'll see you at the field.